Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sweetgoal, cool. and in today's video, we're going to be seeing what would happen if we took the 10 best players in the NBA and put them on random teams. So the way that I actually picked the players was by personal preference, who I thought were the 10 best players in the NBA. So my list goes like this. It's going to be in no specific order. It's Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, and the Greek Freak Giannis. And how we're going to be doing this is we're going to get a random wheel of every NBA team in the league and spinning that wheel for each player and seeing which, which team they will end up being on for a season. So we're going to go do all the spins right now. I have a wheel with every single NBA team in the NBA on it. And we're going to go through our list of the top 10 players. So first off, we're going to be starting off with Stephen Curry here. Let's see where he ends up going. It's going to be the Detroit Pistons. So Stephen Curry is going to be on the Pistons. Next, we have Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, where are you going to land? It is going to be the Indiana Pacers almost on the Pistons right there. That would have been weird seeing them both on the same team. Next, we got LeBron James LeBron, where are you going to fall? We got so far Pacers and Pistons. LeBron going to the Phoenix Suns. They definitely need that. They are not a good team. And for James Harden's team right here, let's see where he ends up on the Rockets right now. He's going to the Brooklyn. Next, we got Kawhi Leonard currently on the Raptors. And so far, everybody's been on pretty bad teams. Kawhi going to the golden state warriors but they don't have curry or durant next up we're spinning for russell westbrook Kawhi on the warriors one op team so far and westbrook is going to the trailblazers next up is kyrie irving currently on the celtics let's see where he ends up he's going to the memphis grizzlies who also already have a point guard in mike Con up next, we got Joel Embiid currently on the 76ers, and he is going to land on the Boston Celtics. So Celtics losing Kyrie Irving, but gaining Joel Embiid, even though they do already have Horford. Next, we got Anthony Davis on the Pelicans right now, and he's going to end up on the Oklahoma City Thunder. We're still going to have an insane team. They lose Westbrook but then gain Anthony Davis. And our last player in the top 10 is the Greek freak himself, Giannis Antetokounmpo on the Bucks currently. And he is going to end up on the Phoenix Suns right in between the Trailblazers and Suns. Puts him on the same team as LeBron James. If he went on the Trailblazers, he would have been on the same team as Westbrook. All right, so we have all our teams set up right now. We're just gonna go through all the teams now. So the 76ers, of course, losing Joel Embiid, Bucks losing Giannis, Bulls are still bad, Cavs have nobody, and the Celtics now gaining Joel Embiid. Moving over to the Clippers, they're the same. The Grizzlies picking up Kyrie Irving, so big improvement for that starting point guard position. Maybe Mike Conley will play the shooting guard, or maybe Kyrie, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Maybe they'll just sub in and out with each other. Moving on here, the Lakers, of course, they lost LeBron. The Nets now have James Harden, so they should improve quite a bit here. They didn't have any all-star players on their team before. The Pacers have Kevin Durant, and I think this might be the best team in the East. Look how deadly this team is. Durant, Oladipo, Miles Turner, and Tyreek Evans. I mean, that is looking pretty good. Pelicans lost Anthony Davis. The Pistons have Stephen Curry. So they have pretty much the position they're missing. The point guard, they have an amazing center, an amazing power forward, and now an amazing point guard. The Raptors no longer with Kawhi. The Rockets no longer with James Harden. The Spurs are the same. LeBron and Giannis both on the Suns now. So one of these guys could play the power forward position. One of them could even play shooting guard. I mean, having both of them on the 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 court at the same time is a must anthony davis now on the thunder replacing russell westbrook so the thunder team still looking extremely good timberwolves are going to be the same trailblazers now have russell westbrook so they have both lillard and westbrook as well 
as CJ McCollum. I'm not sure how those rotations are going to work out. The Warriors lost Curry and Durant, but they picked up one of the best players in the league in Kawhi Leonard. So their team is still absolutely insane. It's just as good as it was last year. Instead of Durant, they got Kawhi. Instead of Curry, they got Boogie. I mean, the team is still insane. They should still win the NBA Finals. Uh, but let's actually find it out right here. We're going to simulate the season. Leave your comment down below on who you think is going to win, as well as who you think is going to be MVP. So the first thing we're coming up to here is the all-star teams. The captains are LeBron James and James Harden. Going on Team LeBron starting is LeBron, Durant, Westbrook, Curry, and Andre Drummond. The reserves are Kawhi, DeRozan, Griffin, Kevin Love, Joel Embiid, Victor Oladipo, and Kyle Lowry. On Team James Harden, it's James Harden, Chris Paul, Demarcus Cousins, Giannis, and Ben Simmons is starting as well. The reserves, Anthony Davis, Kyrie, Paul George, John Wall, Jimmy Butler, Jokic, and Porzingis. Kind of surprising that Ben Simmons is starting over Anthony Davis on the James Harden team. But other than that, I mean, pretty good teams right here. Maybe Kawhi should be starting as well. Let's find out who ends up winning. Okay, so Team James Harden actually beats Team LeBron by 10 points. Slam dunk contest winner is Donovan Mitchell again and Klay Thompson winning another three-point contest. Okay, so we made it to the end of the season. Boogie getting the MVP this season, averaging a double-double, almost 11 rebounds and 25 points. Luka Doncic winning Rookie of the Year like he always does. Tyreek Evans pretty much always gets the Sixth Man of the Year. Sometimes he does. And Giannis getting Defensive Player of the Year on the Suns. He had a pretty good season as well, averaging almost 20 points per game. And then De'Aaron Fox gets most improved. Nick Nurse of the Raptors getting the coach of the year 56 and 26 for the Raptors. Now that's going to be interesting to check out who did the best in terms of teams. Harden, Chris Paul on the first team, LeBron, Giannis, and Boogie. Then on the second team, we got Westbrook, Curry, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, and Jokic. And then we got Drummond, Blake Griffin, Paul George, Schroeder, and Jimmy Butler on the all NBA third team. By Leonard on the defensive team. Surprised he's not on the, the first team. But let's actually go over to the standings right here. The conference standings. Raptors still on top in the east. The Pistons right behind them. They do have Curry now on the team. I thought they would have done a little better. The Pacers picked up Kevin Durant. They're in third place. Only three losses behind both those teams. I feel like 2K just makes the Raptors do super good. They don't have Kawhi anymore. And they don't have any other really good player other than Kyle Lowry. So I don't know how they're doing so good. The Celtics, they got Hayward, Al Horford, and Joel Embiid. Uh, do they have... Okay, Horford's playing power forward and Embiid is playing center. Okay, that makes sense. Embiid also up to 92. And Al Horford, Gordon Hayward, they're all doing really good. The Celtics doing very well. The Nets have James Harden. The Hawks, Wizards, nobody on there. Was there any other teams in the East? That actually picked up players. I do not believe so. The only other teams were in the West. So Warriors barely doing better than the Raptors here. Same with the Suns. The Warriors picked up Kawhi Leonard. Whereas the Suns picked up LeBron and Giannis. LeBron playing power forward. He's a 99 overall. Giannis is a 96. That is insane. OKC, they picked up Anthony Davis, who's a 96 overall now. Timberwolves didn't get anybody. Rockets lost James Harden. And is that actually... Okay, the Trailblazers as well. They did pick up Russell Westbrook. So it looks like Damian Lillard is the sixth man. Surprised he didn't win that sixth man of the year award. Um, did I check out the Pacers already? I believe I did. Yeah, I did check out the Pacers with Durant. So that should be everybody. Um, let's check out the league leaders here for season stats. James Harden leading the league in points per game. 29.3. Then it's Kyrie... DeMarcus Cousins, Paul George, Porzingis, Curry, Schroeder. Uh, so a lot of these guys that we did actually trade still on the team. Devin Booker on the Suns as well. I completely forgot about that. In terms of rebound, it's going to be Andre Drummond on the Pistons, who of course have Curry now. Assist is going to go to Chris Paul. Steals. Uh, I mean, this is none of the guys we really traded teams with. Let's just get right into the playoffs here and see how all the teams do. See who's going to end up winning the NBA Finals. Okay, so a lot of interesting stuff happening in the first round. First off, the Warriors get eliminated in the first round despite still having Kawhi on the team. The Trailblazers 
are going to be the team that ends up beating them out. The Trailblazers with Westbrook, of course, on their team now. The Rockets didn't gain anybody. And then down below here, Phoenix and OKC. Of course, the Suns gaining LeBron and Giannis. They were an insane team. They actually won 4-0. And OKC picking up Anthony Davis. They 4 0 the Denver Nuggets over in the East though it's gonna be the Detroit Pistons with uh, who did they pick up Stephen Curry now so their team improved greatly they still only won in game seven and then the Celtics picking up Joel Embiid they went 4-1 the Pacers lose to the Nets the Nets picked up James Harden the Pacers picked up Kevin Durant that is a very very surprising one that the the Nats beat the Pacers and then it's going to be Toronto winning 4-0 against the Hawks I mean I don't know how the Hawks made the playoffs there uh, so Raptors should end up winning that one and I'm gonna be surprised if the Raptors do actually move on especially if they move on to the finals let's find out what happens in this round so it's gonna be the Brooklyn Nets getting eliminated by the Raptors again I didn't expect that to happen the Celtics are out and OKC has been eliminated, so it's going to be two teams that did not gain any players. The Raptors lost Kawhi and are somehow still in the Eastern Conference Finals. In the West, though, it's going to be the Suns, of course, with LeBron Giannis and the Rockets without James Harden here. Let's see how this round ends up going. The Pistons do have Curry. I expect them to win, and I expect the Suns to actually beat the Rockets. Let's find out really quick right here and the pistons are eliminated by the raptors and the suns are eliminated as well i cannot believe that at all i don't know how the raptors made it this far their team is not that good anymore like check out this starting lineup right here kyle lowry's their leading player how are they making the nba finals when you got curry and bead uh, who else we got? We got they got such good players. Harden is in the West. Durant's in the West. How or in the East? How did none of these teams beat the Raptors? Same with the Rockets. They lost their best player and still make the NBA Finals. Let's see. I mean, these are just the normal teams, so we don't even have to watch any games here. If the Raptors win, I'm gonna be so surprised. Okay, the Houston Rockets win the NBA championship. Chris Paul. Finals MVP. I don't even know how that happened. I mean, I would have had the Suns or like the Pacers. I would have had Suns and Pacers make it all the way. But the Rockets winning and the Raptors in there. I mean, 2K just has the same teams no matter what. Make it. I want to test that out one video. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, 2K simulations. I don't know about them anymore, guys. If you did enjoy those, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This has been your boy, Smickle. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Never in the same space that we started at. Throw the ball, I run the play like a quarterback. I've been up all night trying to make a stack. Trying to get a black and flip a dream into a solid fact. I hustled hard for it. One day they will notice. Chasing in the day.